should servers and bartenders share their tips? It's a conversation that is heating up in Washington as the Department of Labor considers new tip regulations. 41 Action News reporter Lisa Benson joins us live from the plaza. And Lisa, this could be a big change not only for servers, but how we as customers tip. That's right, it could change how you feel about tipping. This change would allow tip sharing among tipped and non-tipped employee. Now, the Department of Labor proposed this change back in December, and as of today, public input is closed. Cooks in the kitchen and servers on the floor. They're both intricate parts of a tip-worthy dining experience. Oh, this is dirt, guys. <laughs> the Department of Labor has proposed changes to tip regulations. Right now, servers and bartenders can pocket their tips while earning the minimum tip wage of $2.13 an hour. Under the new rules, wait staff would make at least minimum wage, but the employer could control the tips. That's my hard earned money that I should be deciding where it should go. Lauren Thompson is putting herself through art school. She's been a server for 14 years. She says these changes would force good employees out of the industry. It's hard for a lot of people to, to function on minimum wage. Like I don't, I don't know how very many people can do it. It's an extremely hot topic on the national level. On the local level, it's not a hot topic yet. Kevin Timmons is the owner of Nick and Jake's Bar and Grill and the president of the Kansas City Restaurant Association. He believes higher minimum wages on the East and West Coast are fueling the charge to share the tips. Where minimum wage now is being uh, uh, enforced at $15 an hour and the tip credit has changed so that the payment of servers, bartenders and bussers is higher. Um, that's where this conversation is really happening. Timmons doesn't think tip sharing would catch on in the metro because good employees would quit and the business would suffer. Thompson agrees. I, I trust the people that I work for very, very much, but um, it does make me worried for other people. Now the Labor Department will review the comments left over the past 30 days before making a final decision. Reporting live, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.